Our state's reopening isn't the only thing San Diegans are talking about. The heat is also on top of people's minds with the first major heat wave of the season arriving today. Let's get to ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie, who's joining us live out there where it's definitely cooler right now. Mary, the hot weather and dry conditions also mean elevated fire danger. Of course, that's always top of mind, and uh, we've already seen a number of San Diegans headed here early in the morning to take advantage of the cooler weather. For so many, if that's an option, this is where they'll escape. Yeah, it's hot, but like that means you get the chance for popsicles, ice cream, pool, no school. <laughs> so, so there's also opportunity to be had, and uh, the temperature and the opportunity only going up over the next few days with these dangerously hot conditions well into the triple digits in some areas. The hot weather, those dry conditions mean elevated fire danger as well. Cal Fire did respond to one fire near homes in Dulzura over the weekend. They were able to keep it under a quarter acre, but it was set off by someone using a metal grinder too close to that dry brush. Cal Fire's Thomas Shute says this prolonged heat wave does pose problems. They're at peak staffing already, and they've been busy already. 58% more acres have burned this year than last year, and every part of the state is in some type of drought for this heat wave. Unfortunately, this one, it's not coming with the um, with the Santa Ana type winds, uh, but they're even even 10 miles an hour um, just blowing through the desert area and you have these hot, dry days. You already have fuels that are um, very dry. They're reaching that critically dry level. So with the pandemic restrictions lifting with more people heading to the beaches, Cal Fire's warning people if you're coming out here and you're towing something, for instance, you're hauling a boat or trailer, jet skis, for example, just be careful that you don't do something inadvertently that sparks a fire along uh, some of the areas where that dry brush is at critically dry levels, as you just heard. Of course, lifeguards are here now, too, for the risks that uh, are certainly posed as more people head here to the beaches, where, as you said, Virginia, it is very comfortable still out here this morning. We're live in La Jolla Shores. Mary McKenzie, ABC 10 News.